Hey guys, welcome back to Everything Alpha. This is going to be a special video because I'm going to expand my channel subject matter to book reviews, albeit within the context of Everything Alpha. So today I'm going to talk about the fantasy artwork of Frank Frazetta. More specifically, I'm talking about this particular book, Frank Frazetta, Master of Fantasy Art. Now, for those of you who are unaware, Frazetta's artwork generally focused on fantasy and science fiction, and his creative works often appeared on comic books, paperback, book covers, paintings, posters, and even record album covers. He was often referred to as the grandfather of fantasy art. More importantly, Frazetta was best known for his cover art for many of the Conan books that were written by the Pulp Fiction writer Robert E. Howard, as well as some of the pastiche Conan stories written by Sprague de Camp. Incidentally, I'm not a fan of pastiche Conan. Personally, I always like to stick to the original source material, so that's why I only read Robert E. Howard's Conan stories. So this is the uh, this is the dust jacket here. Um, I'll try to take it out for you here, so you can take a look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, these uh, the, the, just the artwork itself is just absolutely breathtaking. We're going to put this to the side. And here's the actual book. Um, just from beginning to end, from the end papers all the way throughout the book, you're just you're just inundated with beautiful, beautiful artwork. Wow. So if this doesn't you know, capture the essence of Conan, I don't know what does. This is absolutely magnificent. You can see it. So we're just gonna go through the book. Now, what's really interesting, this particular edition is published in German, but there is an English version titled Icon, a retrospective by the Grandmaster of Fantastic Art that you can pick up on eBay. I think they sell it for about, I think $40, but both the German and English books display the same art. I believe he also appeared in Creepy Tales. I'm also a collector of those, uh, those volumes. Even his, just his sketching, you know, was just absolutely phenomenal. There's Frank. Now, for those of you who might be wondering, I don't speak German and I have no idea uh, what they are saying in here. Um, the only reason I purchased this book was because it was the only edition available at the bookstore and I just had to have it. Um, after all, it's the artwork that I really just wanted. Now, here's a trivia question for you. This is obviously artwork he did for a Clint Eastwood movie. Can you, do you remember the name of that movie? I sure do. That was Detective Shockley, and that is Sandra Locke. And the name of the movie was The Gauntlet. He just was an incredibly talented artist. It's just... The paper, the, 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 the weight, the bond of the paper, it's, it's glossy, it's very, very thick. Um, here's, a, here's a Sharpie to give you an idea of the scale of the book. Now, as some of you might know, many of my own books feature the cover art of actual Ken Kelly, who's another exceptional fantasy artist. Um, I was fortunate enough to purchase the secondary rights to some of Ken Kelly's art. You know, and I find these warrior battle images, uh, they make a very important statement. They're brutal, they're intense, they're deadly. 
and therefore appropriate for combat. Um, they also they also personify the ideal warrior archetype that I've always been trying to bring out in all of my students. So it's about symbolism, the warrior archetype, and self-empowerment. Essentially, these images represent a combative ideal. There's Conan again. I think this was used I think this was used on a album cover for Molly Hatchet. And I remember seeing this many, many years ago, practically a lifetime ago. And I bought the album just because of the cover art. And I'll never forget how disappointed I was in the music. It was Molly Hatchet. So if you're Molly Hatchet fans, please forgive me. This actual image is actually on my phone as a... Um, as one of my wallpapers. It's just so, so cool looking. Just look at the colors and look at the movement. You can see movement through the image. It's just brilliant. I think you might be hearing me sniffling. I'm getting over a cold, so I do apologize. Maybe this was it. Maybe this was the Molly Hatchet uh, album. If you know which one it was, you can put a comment in the section down below. I'd appreciate it. Wow, look at that, look at that. Give you one guess who that is. So this is, uh, this is artwork for Bran MacMorrin. That was another character created by Robert E. Howard. He was king of the Picts. Um, uh, it was part of Robert E. Howard's uh, historical fiction and it's he just if you if you have not read Robert E Howard you are doing yourself a disservice the man he practically wrote poetry i mean all of his prose was just it's just beautifully written they don't write like that anymore it's a bit of a it's a bit of a slog um, uh, the writing is a bit antiquated but it is it makes up for itself because of its beauty and how well it's written uh, so I guess this is some of the Tarzan um, images he had done. Yeah. For a minute, I thought that was a Batman logo. Maybe he was onto something that. Uh, no. Look at that. You can only imagine how much time he put into this work. It's actually mind blowing. I mean, there's a lot of work that went into this. Wow, so this was used on the, uh, the cover art for the book.
I'm not a big science fiction guy, but still, this is really incredibly impressive. This is just incredible. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the Death Dealer. Apparently he was a big fan of Death Dealer. So that's a brief overview of the book. Tell me, are you a fan of Frazetta's work? Does it inspire you? Does it bring back childhood memories? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And once again, thanks for tuning in. This is Everything Alpha, signing out.